One of the most important concepts in DAX is the differences between calculated columns and measures. Understanding differences between them is the key to learn DAX. In one of my videos, how to create calculated columns and use function related, I've explained what the calculated columns are and how to create them. In this one, I will create measures and explain the differences between measures and calculated columns. In this Power BI file, I already have a data model containing several tables and actually two of them already have some calculated columns there. If I go to the data view and check this is a table, this is my main table, and I click on the last columns, in the formula bar you can see that these ones are the calculated columns. And I picked up this price uh, per unit and cost per unit details from another table that is the related table to this one. And in this last column, I've calculated the total revenue. That is the simple mathematical expression, uh, price per unit multiplied by the sales in kilos. To continue with this example, I will add more calculated columns there and uh, then show how we can uh, use another way. Well, first, create a new column, either from here or, or you will go to the table name, right click and new column. But when you hit on the new column in the formula bar, it will be visible. Then you can uh, select the title and so on. Let's call it total cost because I don't have it yet. And just like revenue, simple mathematical expression, cost multiplied by the units by kilo so trigger the column name with the single quote and when we have the cost and hit enter and reduce the decimals well once i have the total revenue and total cost i can calculate the gross profit here and i will just use the new column for that again so hit on the new column and the formula bar gross profit and just simple mathematical expression revenue less costs trigger it here is revenue minus cost that i just created total cost enter reduce decimals I don't like when there are so many decimals visible. And yeah, we have it. To summarize it, a calculated column is a new column added to a table in the data model by writing an expression. And calculated columns are just like other columns in a table. And you can use them in rows, columns, filters, or values of a report. Calculated columns can be even used to define a relationship with another table. The data for them had been already loaded in a data model. But if you go to the query editor, they will not be visible there because they are the part of a data model. Well, calculated columns are useful, but calculations in DAX model can be defined in another way. When I don't want to compute values for each row, but rather to aggregate values from many rows in a table, you can use measures. So measures are used to aggregate information that you want to display. To write a measure expression, you need to use iterators. About iterators, I will talk in another video where I will explain the evaluation context of DAX. But for now, if you try and write the code in a measure in the same way, like I did in a calculated column here, it will not work. To show that, not all the calculations can be handled in a correct way by using the calculated columns. I will create one more of them and then compare it to measures. Well, I will create one more new column to calculate the gross margin percentage. Gross margin in a percentage. And I will use these calculated columns here. I will use the gross profit gross profit divided. I will use just a mathematical operator here and in other videos I will explain that there is the dedicated function for the division that is the function divided. But for now I will just use the operator. 
well, sales, a net sales, um, gross profit divided by the sales revenue. Reduce decimals. Well, once I have these calculated columns here, it's time to put them on the report and then compare how they look like, especially the gross margin part, compared when I create the gross margin percentage by using a measure. Well, let's go to the canvas. I have the empty sheet here and let's create a matrix. It's a good type of visualization to compare the numbers in different columns. But let's use the date. I will use it by days because I want to compare all these details by each product, each date. Otherwise, it will not be visible. But for the final report, of course, you will not use the date by each day. It will be by month or year. But for the values, I will use total revenue. Let's put it there where I have the total cost. Total cost is here. Gross profit. Gross margin. And I want to see all these details by products. And once I have like by channel and assortment, I want to use all of them. Otherwise, I will not see it by individual product. So I have everything here. Let's open this. Open online. And well, here I have for each product, for each day, I have the revenue, total cost, gross margin and gross profit and gross margin. And if we want to use it in percentage because it's gross margin percentage let's format this as a percent and reduce decimals well let's remove this yeah here you can see that like all these details are coming from the calculated columns for the revenue and cost and the gross profit, they are correct. But if I check the gross margin, that is in percentage, row by rows for each product, they are correct. But if I check it by uh, totals and subtotals, they are completely incorrect. So in this case, to calculate the percentage, calculated column could calculate it correctly for each product but when it comes to the totals or subtotals it is completely incorrect so when we want to compute the aggregate value of a percentage we can't rely on the calculated columns we must compute the aggregated value as the sum of the gross profit divided by the sum of revenue we can't do this in a calculated column and we can't aggregate it there if you uh, try and change it to the average, it will not work either. Well, for that, we must use the measures. And that is what I will do now. I will create a measure. I will click on the sales data, right click and new measure. It can be done from the home and new measure icon as well. And gross uh, margin, percentage and M. It's a measure. Well, the expression for a measure, it looks different because if I use just the column uh, names, it will not work here. I must use the aggregators for that. And that is the sum and then the column that I want to use. And that is, let's check, it is the gross profit, this one. So under the aggregator sum. And then this divided aggregator again and revenues. Revenues, close parentheses and hit enter. And I will put the measure in this matrix. 
and by the way once we are here you can see the differences how to identify measures and calculated columns quickly from here the icons are different the calculated columns icons look like these tables and measures icon is the calculator so i will put this one here after the calculated column cross margin well format is as a percentage use decimal a bit And you can see the, the differences and uh, the same numbers as well, like on a row by row basis for each product, they are the same because calculated column for each product, it could handle it. But when we go to the sum lines, totals or subtotals, the measures are, cor are correct. They are showing the reasonable correct numbers where you can see the difference is now how incorrect it was for when it was calculated in the calculated column. To summarize the differences, both measures and calculated columns are used in tax expressions. The difference is the evaluation context. A measure is evaluated in the context of a visual element. It means the sum of all the rows that are aggregated under visualization. And that is the filter context and I will explain more details in another video. Calculated column is computed at the row level of the table it belongs to. It means that the value of the revenues in the current row, and that is the row context. A measure need to, needs to be defined in a table. Like when I created this measure here, I've selected the table and I've created the measure there. But actually, they don't really belong to the table. If you create a measure in another table, it will not lose its functionality. Just that is the good practice to put it in a table there where you can use it and find it in an easy way. Well, measures are computed at the query time and calculated columns during the data refresh. Measures consume CPU resources and calculated columns take up the disk space of your file and computer. Use the calculated columns when you want to use the results in a slicer or you want to see the results in the rows and columns in a matrix or in a pivot table or use as a filter condition. And uh, also when you want to categorize text or numbers. As a rule, whenever you can express a calculation both ways, measures are the preferred way to go. Use the calculated columns only when they are strictly needed.